Passport, visa, ticket to Istanbul. One way. Keller, there's a funny notion that we English are all fair play and scruples. Forget it. If I ever see your face again, I'm gonna blow it off its shoulders, okay? I'm buying. I'm buying. I'm drinking. Benny? Benny? Who's that? I thought it was someone I knew. It couldn't have been. What would Benny be doing outside of a jungle? Benny's leaked. Said he's okay. I didn't say he wasn't okay. I said he was late. Dakar's a long way. Georgetown is further. I got here on time. Then he's okay. He's the best. I said that he was late. Well, that's all. Yeah, well, I don't like the way you said it. You're late. Dakar's a long way. You know everyone here. Hi, Tub. Benny? The pole? Thank you. Hey, Krivas, with this bunch, we could take Angola. Right, where's the war? Here. Right here. Starting tomorrow. If this lousy weather holds. I still wish we had a man on the roof. Well, we don't. Someone like Bodhi. I saw him yesterday. Bodhi? At the airport. Someone called my name, I swear it was Bodhi. The last I heard, he was rotting in a Congo jail. Somebody told me he was dead. No. He was at the airport. It was Bodhi. Who cares? Dead or whatever. Who cares? I thought you did. I thought you and Bodhi had a score to settle. We're almost there! Come on, lads. Let's go. sounding at the National Bank corner of Grayston Avenue.
west along Greystone Avenue. Charlie Victor 3, move in to take position blocking North and High Street. Welcome. Victor 5 to control, pursuing Grey Air Force truck and turning into the crossroads. Control to Victor 5. Come in, Victor 5. Report your position. Over. Victor 5 to control. We're off the road in Pemberton Street. We came under machine gun fire. We're okay, but the cars are right off. Control to all units in vicinity of Pemberton Street. Converge on truck. Approach with caution. Repeat, approach with caution. Victor 9, we're off the road too. Machine gun. Control to all units. Armed police units are being moved in. Meanwhile, close all exits. Keep them boxed this in. War. Well, this war. This bloody war. Charlie Victor 6 to control the truck heading towards it. We're being machine gunned. Are you all right? Report your position. Come in, Victor 6. They're driving through them all. Victor 6 is off the road. Truck has turned due south, heading along Boreham Drive towards the airfield. is a twin-engined executive. Registration, Golf Bravo, Echo, Mike, X-Ray. Lining up now to take off. Well, it's obvious. Get off, your great fat. Contacting RAF Strike Force at Binfield. Well done. Victor 3. Victor 3 to control. The aircraft is now airborne, heading due east and disappearing into cloud now. Roger, Victor 3. We'll contact Binfield. Due east, Holland? Maybe. Contact, what's the order today? Over. Control to Red Leader, force him to land. Force him? Over. Your flight commander will confirm. Aboard the plane are three, four, possibly five armed raiders. Will co control. Information now and established at 5,000 feet. Heading 085, over. First pass over the area in approximately 30 seconds. Visibility deteriorating. Descending to lower level now. Over. To control. Established at 2,000 feet now. Dense cloud. We're going lower, chaps. Roger, Red Leader. Control to Red Leader. Descend through cloud and report visual contact. Over. Red Leader, Wilco. I've got him, Control. Directly below us. Heading 090. I'm going in for a closer look. Over. Roger, Red Leader. Flying directly behind him now. We'll make a warning pass. No response and he's losing height. Still losing height. He's descending rapidly through cloud. I've given him a warning burst. He doesn't respond. Still losing height. Angle of descent steepening now. He's diving. Red leader, red leader to control, red leader to control. Are you reading? Red leader, affirmative. Diving. The damn fool's diving.
Dive straight into the ground. Roger, Red Leader. Report position and return to base. Out. No. They were long gone. They jumped. Shoot it out. That's why they chose today. Cloud cover. They're down somewhere. Anywhere in the stretch. Anywhere, maybe a hundred miles, if they jumped. They jumped. He's pulled that one before. He? Crevis. Right. No bodies in the wreckage. Told you. They jumped. Somewhere along that hundred mile stretch. Tell me more about this Crevis. Well, that's all we've got. Enrico Crevas. He's a jungle rat. Once trying to kill me. I should have known when I saw Benny at the airport. You didn't know it was him, then? Yeah, well, I know now. Benny and Crevas run in a pack. Benny and Crevas and who else? The witnesses said a fat man? A uh, big, powerful. That'll be Tub. Tub Weston. Ex-Marine. They'll have a file on him. On oh, the bank clock, she couldn't be sure. They were all hooded. But one of the men only had one eye. A patch. Frankie, Francois Lepage, great with a knife, sensational with a blade. I don't know, maybe the French authorities have got something on him. Try him. Anyone else? Benny. Yeah, it had to be him. Benny Marsh. He's ex-army too. Paras, I think. Well, why did he try to kill you? Eh? You and Creevers. Uh... Oh. Well, there was this girl and... Uh... Get a face for everyone. APB of all units. I said all units. So, there was this girl. Yeah. Yeah, always is. Yeah, well, this girl was special, see. Beautiful. I loved her. Really loved her. What happened? Uh, Grievous had a crazy notion it was his bird. He killed her. Forty-four Magnum, at close range. She was beautiful. Personal involvement, spoil your aim. It also gives you an edge, a cutting edge. Where are we going? Grievous got those shoots from somewhere, and the guns and equipment, and I've got an idea where. Yeah. Hardly nothing ever changes, does it? Cusack believes in the weight of caliber, don't you, Cusack? That'll stop an elephant. Not many elephants left in England. That just shows how, how effective, effective it is. Yeah, nothing changes. It's Ray Doyle. Oh. Yes, Cusack's an armorer, Ray. Guns, ammo, army equipment. In fact, anything you want. No, I've given all that up. Really? all this then what do you want Bertie? Crevis are oh, you telling me you haven't seen him because if you are and you have 
I'm going to come back and take you apart. Waiting? I only supplied him with ammo. Oh, he already had the guns. I only supplied the ammo. And parachutes? Okay, what's he up to? Come on, he must have said something. Look, Bodhi might owe you something, but I don't. What is he, your brother or something? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. He was up for him, flying high. Optimistic, eh? Definitely. Yeah, I know that mood, that euphoria. Tell my friend what it means. It means someone's for it. Or something big is on. Now, don't forget, darling, none of that silly business is showing off spending too much money. I want you to merge. But I want you to be top of your class, too. Yes, Daddy. And be happy. Goodbye, Daddy. OK, John. Now, I've talked to everybody we know, Mr Sinclair. They all deny having anything to do with it, or even knowing anything about it. For their sake, I hope so. A bank in my area. Nothing happens in my area. A sparrow doesn't cough, and I don't know about it. Yes, Mr. Sinclair. And worse than that, it happens to be my bank. My deposit box went along with that haul. I'm dangerously close to being a laughingstock. Yes, Mr. Sinclair. I want to know who, Charles. I want to know now. I'm working on it, sir. Y yes, Charles, you'd better be. Or pretty damn quick, you'll be just plain aggro Charlie again. Yes, sir. Well, it may be difficult, sir. If these are amateurs, then... Sir. Amateurs? Smooth as silk and oiled as clockwork. Professionals, Charles. These were professionals. The Americans? No. We have a deal. If they pull a job here, they always inform us first. Yes. Europe, then, that damn German. Yes, what is it? Excuse me, sir, there is a gentleman to see you. I'm not home to anybody. Well, he is very insistent, sir, and he asked me to give you this. Send him in. Sir. Mr. Smith, sir. Right. Well, you look very healthy, Mr. Smith, for a man who has possibly only a very short time left to live. Your deposit box is as it was. We didn't even bust it. Yes. For that small consideration, I shall probably send a wreath to your funeral. Funeral? No funerals, Mr. Sinclair. Just celebrations. Tell him to stay where he is. Stay where you are, Charles. The raid was just a demonstration for your benefit, Mr. Sinclair. A free demonstration. You can have the rest of the hall. It's no good to us. <laughs> no good? 80,000 pounds? In new notes? Consecutive numbers? We can't fence the stuff, but you can. You've been misinformed. I'm a respectable businessman. I understand you perfectly, Mr. Sinclair. Now you understand me. I'm a pro. I lead an army. Trained, disciplined and for hire. We can tackle jobs your boys wouldn't know how to start. No percentages. A flat fee paid straight into a Swiss bank. And for that, you get men, muscle, firepower, know-how. You get your own private army, Mr. Sinclair. Now, do we talk? It's crazy, impossible. Every cop, every security man in the country has got those faces, but so far, not a whisper. They left the country. No.
Ben, come on. Dobbs. Use a beer. Uh, Grievous said no alcohol. Well, he's not here, is he? It's not his tongue drying up. About half an hour to that village. That's just what I was thinking. No, Grievous said... Oh, Grievous said, Grievous said. He's not going to know, is he? Unless you're thinking of telling him. It won't be long. He will never come to this house again. He will never see or contact me again. Charles will devise some means of contact. And the payoff? <laughs> Mr. Smith, I've told you what I want done. How you do it is up to you. When you have done it, I think your Swiss bank manager will nod his gnomish little head with delight. Where are we going? Benny's. Benny Marsh. This old lady lives around here. Won't be in records, because he never actually got round to marrying her. As a child, too. About three. I can't see Benny passing up the chance of seeing the kid. You never told Cowley that. Didn't I? Yeah. They'll be on us in half an hour. Frankie, false trail. Take them north, then catch up with us there, south, beyond the ridge. Come on, let's move it. your sensitive soul. All fuzzy pigs. Find a corpse floating in the river or a mad axe man in the back garden. Who do they yell for? Yeah, like the army. Fascist authority, scum. Until they want someone to go out and get killed for them. I fancy a beer. Oh, fort, will it? Yeah, you can get me a lager. Quick, in here. This will do. Tomorrow we'll scout out. Find somewhere else to dig in. Are we going to spend the whole time with our backsides in the mud? No. Eventually we'll put our backsides on a beach somewhere with birds and booze and as much money as we need. But until then, it's mud. Any objections? I want a guard. Tub. Four eyes on, four off. You take the first four. But first, the beer. I said no alcohol. That was my order. Who broke it? All of us. Somebody had to get it. Who? Yes, it was you. You disobeyed my orders. My specific orders. We lost them, didn't we? You pulled that trigger, Crevis. 
and we're found. My orders! And from now on, everyone obeys them. I've got us a job, a job that could set us all up for life. I'll kill anyone who loses that up. It's funny, a couple of years ago, I was in Holland, in a block like this, exactly like this. Same kind of people, same jobs. The only difference was their block was clean, cared for, taken pride in. You know, Britain's become a funny, bloody place. Social revolution. What's that got to do with dirt? Growing up. All kids make a mess when they're growing up. Don't they? Predictable, Benny. I'll give you that. Predictable. How's Crevis? Who's Crevis? <laughs> well, let me put it another way. How's Crevis? Paper's been told to lay off the bank rate, Benny. Play it down. Which means you don't exist, officially. Which means you could disappear for a long, long time. Or permanently. The choice is yours, Benny. Rough or smooth. Okay, okay. But I came back. It's, it's my kid, Bodie. I haven't seen him in three years. Three years, Bodie. Okay, I'll give you two minutes. Now we'll be waiting. I trust you, Benny. Take the lift. Thanks. Thanks. And if I had more men, he would face a firing squad. Come on, let's go. You held out on me, Bodhi. Well, I thought that... I am still speaking, Bodhi. Sir. And one more word and you're out of this organization. Do you understand? Out! Do you understand? Well, not if you do. 
Enthusiasm leads you astray? I don't deny there is a place for enthusiasm here, but tempered with intelligence. Didn't it occur to you that if you'd let Benny Marsh in and then followed him, you may speak? Damn. Sir. Nothing but blasphemy. How are you making out with Marsh? Doyle's sweating him, but he's tough. Mind if I throw in my tuppence, Will? Listen, all that crap about holding me incommunicado forever. Even this mob can't do that. You're going to have to let me off the hook sooner or later. You're off the hook, Marsh. Insufficient evidence. We're releasing you. We're uh, repatriating you, of course, back to your last known address. That's only fair. Ticket. Doll and Bodie will see you aboard. The plane leaves for Angola at 2.30. Angola? The last known address. Don't worry, the government are paying the fare. Listen, I'm British. Not according to our information. You took out Angolan citizenship... Just papers of convenience. Bodie, you know the score. You send me back to Angola, that they'll eat me alive. Oh, that is a problem. But not our problem. Have a nice trip. All right. There's not much I can tell you. Try us. Crevis is planning another raid. A big one. Where? I don't know. Not good enough, Benny. I don't know what I tell you. I swear it. But I do know who for. It is agreed, then. We shall not meet again. Only if you were to renege on the deal. You deliver, we will pay. I shall rely upon that. You're very quiet, Charles. Something upsetting you? I like dealing with our own kind. Charles, racial prejudice. Our own line of business, sir. Money, Charles. Money is our line of business. Our friend is backed by powerful men. Wealthy men. One must move with the times, Charles. Go where the action is, because where the action is, so is the money. Simon Sinclair. Uh, typical Crevis. Start at the top. With the untouchables. Well, we all know it. Sinclair's behind half the organised crime in this country. And one of the police ever nailed him with a parking ticket. I've had allegations of brutality against both of you. An anonymous phone call, but it has to be checked out. Brutality? It has to be checked out. Meanwhile, you're both suspended. Off the squad. So whatever you do in this case is outside my responsibility. him too. Your daughter's outside, Mr. Sinclair. Safe at the moment, but this had better be quick, because the guy with is a psychopath. You know, after this is over, I'll have you hunted down and killed. I'll deal with you personally. How much? Money. I'm not interested in money. I want Crevis. Crevis? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, this is an instant snatch. No dangling you on a string. Now your daughter's out there. Unless you give me what I want now, right now, I'm going to bring her into this house a piece at a time. Aren't you going to ravish me? Well, what's wrong? Aren't I pretty enough? Oh, yes. Yes, you're definitely pretty. Well, then. Oh, it's just, uh, haven't been feeling very well lately. Oh, you don't believe me? Okay, well, I hold up one finger, and that's what you get. One finger. No. No, for God's sake! Crevis. I... 
Do you know what kind of man is sitting out there with your kid? He's a nut. He enjoys pain. God knows what he's doing to her right now. I want Crevis. I've been looking for him for years and now he's working for you. How do you know that? Because Crevis and me are in the same game. Only in this case, two's a crowd and he's got to go. Are you... You're not law, then? Law wouldn't snatch a kid, would they? Law wouldn't. No. I... I know Crevis, yes, but I don't know where he is. I can't contact him. Give me the job, then. Tell me where it is. I'll catch up with him there. Oh, you really have to learn the hard way, don't you? It's tomorrow night. Barrasby. What, the nuclear fission waste recycling plant? Plutonium. I have a buyer for plutonium. You could be giving me a bum steer. Convince me. Brown plans, the whole place. We'll leave your daughter at the end of the drive. We'll mount a full anti-strike operation. Marksmen around the perimeter. Handguns on the inside, eh? Sledgehammer to crack a nut. A very tough nut. Oh, it must be. Can't be more than four or five of them at most. We once held up a whole battalion for nearly a day. Six men, exactly like these. They're pros. With machine guns. Hey! Damn fool! Oh, they've beaten us to it. Crevis has pulled a fast one. Moved a day early. When? A couple of minutes ago. That truck. You OK? Yeah. Call HQ. We want the area cordoned off. Ten miles radius. Twenty. Right. Crevis moves fast. Four three-tonner, yellow cab, grey body. Heading north, we are in pursuit. Establish roadblocks. Approach with caution, four to five armed men. Hold it! Motorbikes. Looks like it's on foot from here, aren't they? Well, I've got feet, haven't I? Cowley to HQ. Coming, Cowley. Location approximately 200 yards off the main north road, a sidetrack. Raiders escaped on motorbikes. We are pursuing. Out. Typical. Well, downstream, he'll be in the town.
What is it? Why did he ditch him? Noise. Even I can follow four motorbikes. Anyway, Crevis would feel more at home on his own two feet, wouldn't he? The trail back here heading towards the road. You two go on ahead. I'll stay on here for a bit. Local fuzz move fast. They must have struck off that way. Local fuzz don't move that fast. Huh? They don't know you and me from all in the ground. Why haven't they challenged us? Frankie, great with a knife. Well, they'll be well on the way by now, won't they? Something's bothering you. Uh, truck, bikes. Why use bikes when you ditch them after a mile or so? Yeah, and this, a clear breakthrough point. And why didn't they drive it off the road? We've been socket. Right. They're still back there somewhere. Dug in. Any ideas? Close to where they dump the bikes? Cowley. Cowley. Bodie? Screech Owl. Screech Owl? What are you, Bodie? A bird-watching freak? Our call. Their call. Come to me, it means. Danger. The man down there. I took him. Good. No, no, I took him, but he was quick. Very quick. He's still alive, I think. You fool! Go to Earth! Those were my orders! He was in the way. He saw me. You deal with the cops. OK. Go down and deal with this one. But quietly! Fan out! There may be others! Drop it! Drop it! Cowley! Hey! Cowley, 
Are you okay? Yes, yes, I'm okay. And it's Mr. Cowley. You are okay, aren't you? You know what to do. Bode, keep out of this. I may not be as good a shot as you, Crevis. I might miss a couple of times. You know, hit a kneecap or a gut shot or lower. Bode, you're no better than he is. I don't think that's true, do you? Only one way to find out. I'm not breaking the law, just bending it. Where's Woody? Through living old times, sir. With Crevus? Yeah. Oh, that should be all right then. <laughs> Bodie can look after himself. If he abides by my teaching. <laughs> he should see the other fella. <laughs> oh. <laughs>